All right, in, in this lesson we're covering um, the first of many, many arm bars. And it, the first arm bar is, of course, the most important because when we take you through this a particular arm bar, we're going to be hitting all the key points. And almost all of those key points will apply to pretty much every arm bar that you apply from different angles. So there's pretty much, first of all, two ways to dislocate um, the joint on the arm. One is we hyperextend the arm, meaning we take it past the point where it can naturally straighten into hyperextension and it pops the elbow capsule. Uh, the other way is, of course, we bend it at a 90 degree angle and we rotate it one way or the other, which um, dislocates the shoulder, posteriorly or anteriorly. So in this one, with all of our, with all arm bars, all we're doing is dislocating the, the elbow. So how we work this first one is, uh, my partner's arm's pushing me up, he's pushing up in an effort to get me off, okay? What I don't want to do is grab the arm, because if I grab the arm, I've then got to walk my legs around, and that's way too slow and takes too much space. So I override my temptation to, to pull his hand away from my face, turn my hands in the direction that I'm going to spin, all of my weight goes on the hands, and both legs move at exactly the same time. We land here. Once we get there, four things. One, good hip penetration. Make sure my hips are well under his shoulder and not back out here. So the deeper I am, the more his elbow is touching my belly and not my groin. So my belly, as I push it up into the sky, is what's breaking his elbow, not my groin. A lot of people lift their hip up but the hip is not the way to do it. Your hip tucks down and you push up at the center of your belly. So the deeper my hips are, hip penetration, the better that's going to be. Number two, my knees are squeezing. So even if I lose his arm, we've got lateral control of his arm with, that, with the squeezing of our knees. Three, my top leg is bent. That means I can lift my hip way up here. If my legs are crossed or straight, I haven't got the height to lift my hip. So the top leg, the one over his head is bent. And finally, the fourth position is, I, I, I rotate my partner's hand so that the pinky edge of his hand is facing downwards. That puts his elbow in the best alignment for the dislocation. If it's turned like that, his elbow can bend. So rotate by grabbing his hand, physically rotating it so the pinky edge is down or the thumb is facing up. Lock it to your chest and now I lift my hip up incrementally until he taps. Um, the whole idea with a bit of practice is that we achieve all four of those points mid-flight. So his hand comes up and all four of them, I've run my checklist, everything's there, knees squeezing, top leg bent, uh, pinky edge down and hips are in nice and deep. The way to train this, an easy way that we like to train it is his hands are up, my hand, his other hand's there so I can put my hands on his arm rather than his chest. I put all the weight on the hands and my feet jump up level with his shoulders, one. And we just get that. We just get we get doing that so that we get used to moving both feet at the same time as opposed to walking it out. Once we get that idea, we start to add some rotation into it. Just slowly building up the rotation until we're coming right around here. Once we get our feet around there, we're ready to go for it. Foot goes over his head, we fall down, and we claim the basic armbar. A small point of mat culture, rather than disengage, stand up and get back on him, if I'm efficient about getting the armbar one way, I also want to develop efficiency in how I, how I recover. So my feet come off, my knees already in tight, I'm killing the fly, and I'm coming onto the mount. So I'm being efficient at all times. I don't want to be doing an armbar efficiently and then standing up and disengaging in a very efficient way. So we just build culture all the time while we're training. Armbar, lie down next to him, knee in tight, Kill the fly, remount, and repeat, or on the other side. That's our basic armbar.